here is good. downsides of having Josephine on the speed dial. They included phone calls at 3 a.m. begging me to escort her to South Jersey to take raw materials for some construction. Every week she launched new schemes. A good 10% of her schemes came close enough to success to subsidize the other thing. To the point, please. When the watch clicked off, I finished with nine seconds to spare. She said, fuck. Who the fuck are you? And her friend said, Man, you missed the line about horrors. But Josephine already handed me the check. A few years back, my phone woke me up with a call from Josephine at 4.15 a.m. I got the phone and I said no with great sincerity. However, she already started on a monologue about a new scheme. Well, by the time I woke up enough to follow the logic, I hear her say, The police are closing in, they have my prints on file, and I still repay my college debts. So I need capital to start another city. Or perhaps to pay for it. How much cash are we talking, I ask? 250,000. I hang up. She called again. You didn't let me finish, she said in this hunky voice that brings all part of me to rap attention. I just need your help in needing all this cash. So if we're successful, you get the same amount. Her plan involved a swanky club in Upwood, Connecticut, a club whose common room held score to careless, money gentlemen with great interest in expensive wages. And she had a pass stolen from her previous partner in August. In a men's room, shifting my behavior and my personality to a drunken old boy swagger while Josephine already took a seat. I crammed myself between two bodies of her new friend and I said, I'm sorry for breaking in, but I'm trying to find out how jets are up. Jets aren't up, Freddy Athlete said. They can play football. Well, I know that's why I'm drinking. Are you? Interested in wagers? To the point, please. I asked him, what about canoeing? Dude, it's not on cable. You can bet canoeing. I don't know, Suki, the sports you. I said, man, we don't know the sport you know. I wager half a fucking million greenbacks from my pocket in check and split it between you checks on whatever sport-related challenge that the next one you say. If I'm right, you pay me half a million. Write the check, they said. Okay. And we write the checks. Hey, acting, huh? It came from Jasmine. Acting is a sport. Acting can theater, she said. Acting isn't sport, I said. <laughs> they looked at her like she's crazy. And then they started laughing. They left at me and her and they put their checks back. I don't know theater, I said. You don't? I do. And I know that theater is a sport, she said. You're gonna recite a monologue from whatever play I choose. I am not so sweaty, hungry. Well, you made a call, man. So, don't try to run away unless you win the chance. I don't need to hear the monologue. Where's the waitress? I'm losing control. They didn't smell scheme. The idiots lost their cash, and by tomorrow they won't remember about it. I collected the checks. Josephine and I left to break. This is the end of the story. No food, I guess, for me, huh? 
Thank you for your time. We'll be in touch.